Hi, in previous lecture you have learnt about the unique property and hallmarks of uh, immune system. Now I will continue with uh, how this, uh, what are the arms of uh, immune system and how it is connected to each other in order to eliminate the pathogen, okay. So let us begin. So this uh, immune system is uh, uh, basically there are two major arms of in, uh, immune system that is innate immune system and adaptive immune system. So innate and adaptive immune system communicate each other and then uh, this will uh, induce the development of appropriate immune response. When I say always, I always say use a word appropriate immune response means there should be neither more immune response nor less immune response. If there will be a more immune response, that may result to the uh, disease or uh, in, in technical term, we call it as a immunopathogenesis, okay. So, uh, I, I just wanted to explain appropriate immune response, okay. So, so when these two system communicate, then there will be a development of appropriate immune system and that result to the elimination of pathogen. Now, let us look at how uh, these two different arms of immune systems are uh, linked uh, and whether it is linked or not or how it is linked, okay. So, there are, so in innate immune system, there are two major components besides others. That one is humoral component and another is cellular component. And in previous lecture, I have told you uh, in humoral component, variety of antimicrobial peptides are there, which is playing an important role in elimination of the pathogen, okay. So, in order to eliminate this pathogen, these proteins act over the uh, pathogen and eliminate it. Among these protein, one very important family of protein is there, which we call it as a complements, okay. So, these complements are, uh, are set of protein which is synthesized in a liver and then they do, uh, they act on the microbial pathogen and basically they induce three kinds of uh, immune responses. One is very beautifully, they will, uh, they will be get activated by a cascade of signaling and then towards end, this will make a kind of hole in the pathogen, okay. Then there will be a loss of iron and water and finally, the pathogen will die, okay. So, we call it as a, technically we call it as a membrane attack complex. The, the result of complement activation is, the first is, uh, development or uh, formation of membrane attack complex, okay. The second immune response is uh, this uh, when complement get activated, there is a some uh, component of complement which cause the inflammation, okay. Inflammation is very much uh, important in order to uh, bring or to recruit the immune cells at the site of infection, okay. So, first is a development of membrane attack complex, second is a, a inflammation and the third and very most important is opsonization. Basically, this complement proteins will get deposited over the activated complement protein will get deposited over the, over the uh, surface of uh, microbial pathogen and then this will be readily or very easily phagocytosed by some eating cells or phagocytes, okay. So, in that way, this is a, this a humoral component work. Here, I just explained the outcome of uh, complements, okay. But all these things are also mediated by, uh, the complement mediated things are also mediated by antibodies. Okay. So, here you can see that this complement family of protein or complement mediated immune response is a kind of linker between innate as well as adaptive immunity. Similarly, uh, there are some cells uh, uh, or cellular component of uh, immune system which is, uh, which includes all 
uh, immune as well as some non-immune cells and these cells uh, basically expresses a family of molecule which we call it as a pattern recognition receptor. Okay? So, these pattern recognition receptor, uh, I, I think I have mentioned in my previous lecture, this, fam this is a family of molecules. There are various, various kind of family uh, are there, uh, which I will discuss when we will take up the pattern recognition receptor under innate immunity. So, these basically pattern recognition receptor senses the unique signature uh, of, uh, of the pathogen. Uh, if you remember in previous uh, lecture, I discussed about the broad specificity. So, this PRRs, pattern recognition receptor has a broad specificity and they sense pathogen associated molecular pattern. Pathogen associated molecular pattern like LPS, flagellin, okay? The nucleic acid, the nucleic acid, uh, we all have, uh, all living entity has a nucleic acid, right? But all these nucleic acids are quite different. So, our pattern recognition receptor can discriminate this different kind of nucleic acid, okay? And they, basically these PRR senses the PAMPs and then this will induce the, uh, or uh, induce or uh, activate the production of inflammation, okay? And this inflammation is uh, basically important for the recruitment of other immune cells. This can also activate innate immune responses. Innate immune responses means, for example, there is a macrophage which is in, uh, in native state or it is a, it's a un, uh, resting macrophages. And there is a macrophage which is activated. Activated means there is a, some factor which is produced by some immune cell and that will activate this uh, uh, act, uh, the macrophage and we call it as activated macrophage. So, you can see a big difference between this resting as well as activated macrophage. So, activated macrophage can readily phagocyte, uh, uh, phagocytize this uh, pathogen. Okay? So, here I mean to say that activate innate immune response means the, uh, the innate immune cells will also get activated. Okay? And this can also induce variety of uh, cytokine molecules. It can, if it is the virus, then it will induce the type 1 and type 3 interferons. Okay? So, basically all these things will eliminate the pathogen. Okay? However, if you do not have uh, this, uh, if the pathogen is not eliminated, then all these responses basically make a bed for the activation of adaptive immune response, which is basically mediated by B cells and T cells. So, in that way, you can see that how beautifully this innate and adaptive immunity is integrating and defending, uh, uh, defending the host against the various kind of microbial infection. So, with this, uh, I will uh, stop here and in, in next lecture, I will discuss about the various immune organ. Okay. Thank you.